with Go90 to recreate, or I guess I should say replay an old video. And I'm actually doing a video I made on my Spanish channel because I have so many more videos there. So we're gonna do a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. And I thought that was pretty much the perfect video to replay because Kylie just always changes her look. And I was watching my old video and it was back in the back in the day when Kylie had like the blue hair extensions and that was a huge deal. But right now she's kind of doing a more simple thing. So we're just gonna go with that. And this is kind of inspired by Go90's new show. And if you guys have never heard of Go90, it's an app where you can download and it's free and you can watch really cool shows. And their new show, okay, so <laughs> this is so funny to me because I love this type of show. It's called Replay and it's a show where this girl pretty much has to, well, she doesn't have to, she wishes for that because she has kind of like a really crappy 25th birthday and then she just wants to redo it and she just has to relive it over and over and over again. I just love that type of show. I kind of, I've always wanted that to happen to me, but I don't know, I, it's, it always kind of turns out wrong in those shows, so I guess I don't want that to happen. But anyway, I'm gonna leave a link for you guys in the description to go check out Go90 and check out the replay shows. But yeah, let's get started with this Kylie Jenner inspired tutorial. Oh, and before we get started, you might see me throughout the video with kind of like these long fake nails that I wanted to wear because I was like, let's do the Kylie Jenner thing full on, like the whole inspired look. But that didn't work out. I really admire people that wear really long nails. I can't, I mean, I feel completely used to them in them. So I just ended up ripping them off. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm just gonna start off prepping my skin and I'm obsessed with this Make It Forever primer and I just kind of let it sit for a little while before moving on to foundation and I'm gonna do my Make It Forever Ultra HD foundation stick and that's pretty much my go-to foundation. It's just really easy to put on and I love the coverage and I just, I love everything about this foundation, honestly, you guys. Just blend in your foundation and then I'm gonna move on to concealer and I'm also wearing Makeup Forever. I think that's my favorite lately for my skin and I don't really feel like I need tons of concealer so I just put a little bit on right under my eyes just to kind of hide any dark circles or anything like that. And I really like to pat it in and just let it sit because I have creases under my eyes so that's gonna help prevent them. So of course for any Kardashian or I guess Jenner makeup, you need contouring. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm just gonna go in with some of this brown and I just apply it with my finger and I pretty much contour everything around my face. You basically don't want your face to look like your normal face. You want a really contoured version of yourself. So I like to do the dark parts first and then go in with a light shade and just kind of do where I would bring in some light. And my favorite tool for blending all of this out is my beauty blender. It's just the best. I'm just gonna go ahead and set everything with some MAC Studio Fix. And this one is in C6, if you're wondering. And I'm gonna keep working on my face, but before I wanna prep my lid, and I'm just using this benefit primer and I'm just kind of work it in. I just like to, you know, blend it in and just kind of let it sit. I just, I do that for some reason. I don't know. I just like to do it. And now you want to keep contouring. I'm going to use the Hoola Benefit Bronzer because if you've seen anything where Kylie talks about her makeup, she always says she loves this bronzer. So I just thought it was perfect to use right now. And basically, I'm just applying it anywhere I used my Anastasia palette. So for me, I never contour my nose, but since this is a Kylie makeup, she always contours her nose, and you can really tell when she's wearing heavy makeup because her nose isn't really that thin. So go in on that nose contour. Just be careful because nose contour can be a little bit tricky, so if you're not too sure about it, just 
don't go too hard on the color and blend it out really well. So Kylie seems to wear really coral blushes. So I thought Coralista is basically the perfect blush for this. And I'm just adding a tiny bit. She doesn't really go heavy on the blush. But what she does go heavy on is the highlight. So I'm using my high beam from Benefit. And I'm just pretty much gonna use it wherever light would hit my face. the picture I was looking at, it was really evident she was wearing a lot of highlight on the bridge of her nose. So, so I'm going in with some of this Lorac highlight as well to really make that bridge pop. Brows just need to be really sculpted, so I'm using some of Benefit's new brow products. So I'm just following my natural shape, nothing too crazy going on here. Now for the eyes, I really love this makeup. It's so cute and simple. So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And I thought Trick was pretty much a perfect match to the color Kylie wears sometimes. The only thing is that it wasn't super shimmery, but I'm pretty sure the color she wears isn't shimmery on its own. It's actually another color on top of it. And I went for ColourPop's Birthday Girl, and I don't think they sell this still, but you guys can check if you find a similar dupe. I'll try and link it for you if I find it. Because I was so in love with this shade, it's just perfect. It's really shimmery, and the color is just so nice. It blends out really well. I was just in love with it. Kylie also had a really white and shimmery tear duct, so what I did was go in with some of my high beam. I just love high beam, if you can't tell. And then with just some regular white shadow on top of that. But really, this look is so basic. I think what really makes it stand out are the lashes. And I'm using some Lily Lashes in Mykonos. And these are really the ones Kylie wears, so I thought it was just perfect. I mean, if this is a Kylie-inspired look, you have to wear your Kylie lashes, okay? Once my lashes are on, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of liner just to make everything blend in, but not too much liner. I mean, this look was really, really simple. If you consider humongous lashes and tons of contouring simple, but you know, kind of simple for Kylie Jenner. And to kind of balance out those really big lashes on the top, I'm going to add some brown shadow just on my bottom lash line. And then some mascara, but not too much, you know, just a little bit. Once that is done, you want to go ahead and add your Kylie lips. So that means totally overdrawing them because I don't have any lip injections. So I'm just going to have to do with my lipstick. And I don't have any of the Kylie Jenner lipsticks either, which would be amazing if I did. But I do have some amazing dupes. So you can use ColourPop's Beeper, which is a dupe for Dolce K. Or you can also use ColourPop's Clueless, which is a dupe for Candy K. So you can just use this look whichever way you prefer. I, for some reason, like the pink better when I was doing it, but now that I'm looking at the video, I like the brownish look, so I guess the Dolce K or Beeper better. I don't know. I, it's weird because the lip really makes it look so different. So yeah, just wear whatever you like best. But once that's done, you're all set to go and rock your Kylie Jenner inspired makeup. Oh. There you go my loves, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm like obsessed with it. That's where I am pretty much all day, every day. All day, every day. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!